Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If you're not getting any hot water in your house, then it's likely that the pilot light has gone out. Standing pilot water heaters use a pilot flame that burns continuously and will ignite the main burner whenever heat is needed. This small blue flame is visible through the sight glass on the bottom of the water heater. If the pilot flame isn't burning, then you'll have to relight it. In this episode, we'll learn how to relight the pilot. Additionally, we'll look at some of the reasons why it might not be working. Let's begin. Always be smart when working with gas. If you notice a strong gas odor at any point, then shut off the gas, ventilate the area, and immediately call a technician. Before relighting your pilot, first verify that the gas is turned on. Set the thermostat control and the gas control to the pilot position. Now hold down the control and press the spark igniter repeatedly until you get a flame. Keep holding the button for 90 seconds as it takes some time to warm up. When heated by the pilot flame, the thermocouple and thermopile generate a small amount of electricity, enough to power the gas valve. If it doesn't heat up, the voltage will be too low and the gas valve will close. After releasing the button, the pilot flame should stay on. Now, set the gas control to the on position. Next, turn the dial to the desired temperature. The main burner should fire up. To light the pilot, you need gas, a spark, and proper airflow. Now, if you're not getting a spark, then check the wires and make sure the igniter is seated correctly. If you are getting a spark, but the pilot doesn't light, then wait 10 minutes and try again. It might take a few tries to get it lit. If the pilot still doesn't light, then check for any kinks in the pilot tube. Also, a carbon buildup could be plugging the pilot orifice. Alternatively, the gas control valve could be faulty and might be stuck closed, preventing gas from getting into the pilot orifice. This can be hard to test, so it's best to call a technician. Now, if the pilot lights, but the flame doesn't stay lit, then it could be an electrical issue with the thermocouple or thermal pile, the thermal cutoff switch or the wiring. First check all the electrical connections to make sure that they are secure. Also, if the thermal switch has a button, then it's likely resettable. Simply press the button to reset the switch. Now, relight the pilot. If the pilot still doesn't stay lit, then you can test the thermocouple or thermal pile to see if it's working properly. You can see more in the videos linked in the description. If the pilot keeps on going out or the thermal switch keeps tripping, then it could be an airflow issue. Dust can accumulate under the tank or in the flame arrestor screen that supplies air to the burner. This should be cleaned as part of regular maintenance by using a long brush. Additionally, check the flue opening above the tank, making sure it's free of any objects or debris. You can check the airflow by doing a draft test. Turn the main burner on. You should feel cool air being pulled into the vent hood. If you notice warm air coming out of the vent, then it's best to call a technician. Now, if the pilot stays lit, but the main burner doesn't light, then the gas control valve could be defective and should be replaced. This is best handled by a technician.
Hopefully this has helped you get your water heater working again. For more troubleshooting on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our name or location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.